We'll come to the lesson today. Once again on Google Cloud Platform, today we're going to talk about the PubSub and uh, we're going to integrate Spring Boot application with the PubSub. Here just enabling Cloud Shell. Here I'm going to clone a project which I'm going to share what I've done. Okay. Okay, just download on my shell. Let's go in through the folder. What I have here I have the install in the install as shell stands for creating my Topkin subscription. Okay, so let's enable it to execute the cheat mode. Easy. So oh, sorry. Now what it's going to do is going to create the top kind of subscription. JPM topic and JPM subscription. Okay. We have here a project and I'm even pro so let's pack it and then clean. X execute this. And if you're going to the pub sub, it's going to take some minutes. You know, I, I can share the project. Basically, this integration, we have um, a messaging gateway. If you already know a spring integration, as you can see here uses the same components, the gateway, the channels. Here we have a service activator with a pub sub template with the input channel and output channel. Those message channel are directly channel. Let's go through the palm. Okay, I'm using Spring Boot, the latest version. I know they released something new. We have the web because then uh, I want to do something with the swagger stuff. Have the started pub sub, have the started integration, and spring integration core. Maybe this is not uh, this is used. I, I gotta check that in my dependency hierarchy. LM book for not writing getters and setters. The dependency manage about our DCP dependencies. They build for boot to start and this repository is there apart for my swagger stuff that I'm going to implement and fill. Uh, here we go, just is... compile everything. So dash in case here I have a scheduler that runs each two seconds. Here I have my banner You can see I have a scheduler for 82 seconds. It's gonna send some messages to PubSub. So now we're going to see our. Can just load down this. My topic. Still not messing. Refresh it here. Now we're going to our subscription. Starting, pulling data, data. And here it's going to be a different charge, different graphic. Uh, on my creation, I put the acknowledgement, 60 seconds for each message. And Phil is going to be changing the all the view that you see here. And now I'm going to be checking something on my IM. Ah, okay, I have all those. All those rows. 
let's be back to PubSum. Our topic. Nothing is still on the chart of the topic and are going to the subscription. You see here, it's changing. There are a naked message count. It's reaching one day. Once it goes over, it's going to show this different of this chart. And next, next to step, we're going to put more schedulers, more, going to track much more messages for seconds to see how the different is for this. You see, it's changing for this timing and message counts. In case it's going to take some time to see something different on the topics charge uh, just a period something it's just the beginning in case you should try many topics many subscriptions and a lot of messages by seconds like i would say 1000 messages by second if you can create some infrastructure for that it's just a, a matter of creating a broker for sending too many too many messages there. Here you see our chart is be, is getting some live. Here is already it's more stable. I can share more things about the product, but basically I'm going to show the how they did this scheduler, which is very simple. Let me just get the repository. Here you go again. Now I'm going to share my scheduler, which is pretty simple. It's already under resource. Just use the Spring Framework. You don't need to use Quartz for that. Just use this annotation in a method, which I inject my gateway. And I send a message to PubSub, just the real time. What I have on my gateway and my activator in case my activator here just pass the message through in case I receive the message and I log this on my receiver once you see payload There is best the message on my receiver. Right? Simple. I right, see the chart has changed a lot. Something. Let's go to the topics chart. Wow. Here. Ah, you see. I hope you enjoyed the lab. This is the end of the lesson today. Bye.